Welcome back to another video on the channel, everybody. Now, we're about to talk about Halloween, bro. This movie is really, really good, bro. Like, it's, I love the whole, I love Michael. Like, I saw, like, bad reviews on it. Everybody was saying it was not that good. Bro, that's not real Halloween. Those are people who just, who just love the slasher genre, bro. If you love Michael, Mike, bro, bro, this whole movie is good. So, the first part of the movie, dude. I'm gonna, this is spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen the movie, he didn't die, obviously, because he can't die. It's freaking Michael. But the beginning of the movie, um, the the beginning scene. So basically, it started off from the last movie. If you didn't see the 2018 Halloween, basically they locked him in the um, room basement, locked it, and then burned the house down. But this one right here, they started going back to spray it down and stuff. And Lori was screaming, let it burn and stuff. That was in the teaser trailer. But Michael, you don't play with him, bro. Like, it's so... Some people just don't understand. So basically, everybody in town thought Michael was dead. Well, Lori thought Michael was dead. But the firefighters went up to the place, started spraying it down. Michael ended up killing all of them. They all thought they was going to do something. One dude had like a freaking... Mmm, that little blade thing that moves and stuff. They all thought they was gonna drop Michael. Michael just dropped all of them. Like, the gore in this movie is really good. But basically, the whole movie is about... I like, I hate the concept of them making it all in one night. Like, I feel like... I like it because, like, you get to see Michael more. Like, he's going around just killing everybody in town. But that makes the movie so fast. Like, it doesn't make it seem long. And what the hell is that? Y'all see that light thingy? Like, I'm trying to figure out what is that, bro. Like, that makes no sense at all. Maybe if I turn this off. Okay, it's still there, bro. But anyways, the whole movie is, is stuck in one night. It carries on from the last one. So basically, it was carrying on from the 1978 Halloween. Where, like, all the kids and stuff. Like, we know how they were, like, kids and they were scared of the boogeyman. And they all growing up now to kill Michael. So that, see, that was actually, like, a pretty cool thing. But I just hate one thing about it. Like, the whole movie, I don't see why everybody hating on it. But the only thing I hate about it is, like, it was stuck in one night. I feel like they could have, like, made it next day or a day later. But it's all in one night, which makes the movie seem a little bit fast. But who cares, bro? It's Michael. So, basically, I just woke up, by the way. But Michael, um, so basically, Lori Stroh, she was in the hospital and stuff. She was hurt. And she thought she'd kill Michael. But later on, they found, they found out that they found a bunch of bodies everywhere. Michael was killing everybody. Like, it was this couple. This lady was flying a drone. And he killed all of them with the gore. The gore was really good in this movie, bro. That was really good. So they killed, like, he started killing people and stuff. Oh, yeah, and there's this one scene where Michael was at the car. Like, you know, the, I'm pretty sure. Have you seen the trailer? Basically, when he was like, oh, there's a boogie the man in a white mask trying to play hide and seek with us. So basically, it was just, it was like four people in a car. They are the dumbest people in the world. I hate I hate some movies. Like, bro. So they was fighting. Michael was attacking people in the car. And what's it called? He kills the lady. He kills the old lady and dude starts strangling him. Michael turns around, obviously, stabbed the dude in the eye. But this one girl had a whole desert eagle or whatever she had. And missing every shot. Like, why? I hate people. Like, imagine if you got, if, if you, let's say that you right there, standing right there, and you got just like a bunch of stuff blocking us right now. Why would I shoot to shoot the stuff that's blocking? That makes no sense. I'm gonna move that out the way and shoot you right there in the face. But she just so dumb. The little freaking nurse girl. She was shooting, breaking the glass, shooting the door and everything. And Michael, all he had to do was just kick it. He kicked the door. It popped and then she turned around and shot herself. That was like, I don't think that was, that wasn't a good kill. It seemed like a good kill. Like if a little kid see that, I'm like, oh, that's cool. But that really wasn't a good kill. But that was good. And he started, you know how to Michael decorate people. Like he got to put them up on a wall and all that stuff. So he did that. But the whole movie is basically about everybody in town going crazy. Like Michael is back. He's doing this. He's killing everybody. So we follow like this one dude. Um, he's like, I guess, I don't know, like the 1978 Halloween where 
like he was a little boy and Michael killed somebody in his family. So the dude was really mad and wanted to kill Michael and take over his town again, take back his town. So everybody in town was going crazy because Michael was killing everybody. Like you see Michael Myers, like it's not like, oh, he pops out of the dirt. I mean the dark out of nowhere. No, he's legit walking. We see the camera following him everywhere. Dude, we saw him take off his, well, he didn't take off his mask. He got the mask taken off of him, but it still looked cool. Like we seen Michael there instead of like, barely seen him it was more like a friday the 13th bro but everybody in town was going crazy and like when he killed michael so everybody was in town evil dies tonight screaming evil dies tonight and all that stuff so it was a big riot in like one hospital and stuff and the dude from the um because everybody was like michael michael's doing it michael's doing it michael's doing it but she was doing it but it but nobody knew who michael really was so like it was this old fat dude, some mental dude in the mental asylum that walked in a hospital asking for help and they thought that was Michael and this scene was sad. They thought it was Michael so they all started chasing the dude, the dude was scared, it was like some old dude bleeding from his head. They thought he was Michael because he had like a mental place uh, outfit on. And they really thought it was Michael, like they all started chasing him and then Lori Strode, she was hurt and stuff, she said she gotta get up and kill Michael because the only way he can die, she dies. Because whatever the curse in the old movies, which the old movies, they're not going based off of that. Like the curse of Michael Myers, they're not going off of that movie, but, but it makes no sense, bro. Like they say they're not going, they starting off from the very first Halloween in 1978, it's 1978 and carrying on from that. But they said that she the only, that she had a curse on him or whatever. So it was just really mixed up because they kept doing cut scenes back to 1978. But who really knows? Who really cares? But they started chasing the dude. The dude was scared. So they was breaking into the glass door trying to get to him. And it was sad because, like, he it wasn't him. And they were screaming, it's not Michael. Lori, everybody was screaming, screaming, it's not Michael. But everybody, nobody listened. They're all screaming. They can't hear Lori and all of them. So the dude bust the window and jumped out and killed himself. And that jump was so sad, bro. Like... But shoot, like, he, who knows, bro? He could have killed somebody. He was in a mental hospital. Like, get him out of here. But that was messed up. But the whole movie is good. Like, and then I hate the scene. I actually got scared. But I know it's another Halloween because they said it's three. I wish they never said it was three Halloweens. But I still got a little nervous because I thought it was like, dang, bro, they really about to kill him. So, so the whole movie is just really good. Like, I don't see why people are hating on the movie. Like, and the only thing I hate about it is how it's stuck in one night, but that's also cool. But at the end, they like trapped him. Like, um, Michael was attacking the girl, daughter. It was like these, these two gay dudes or whatever. He ended up killing them. They was living in an old um, Strode house or whatever, Mike Myers house. Who really knows? Who really cares? But the girl ended up going up in there with her boyfriend and his dad. His dad ended up dying. So it was, it was, um, Allison, I think that's her name. Allison and her boyfriend went up in there. Michael ended up killing him bad. Like, the, you know the stair steps thing? The steps on the inside of a house? He broke that and started using his head to break more of it. And just broke his neck and everything. And then that was cool. But the Michael, Allison ended up attacking Michael and everything. He ended up grabbing her, throwing her down the stairs. She ended up falling. Breaking the leg somehow. Like, you know, it's always a girl that gotta break her leg. But I don't know how you break your leg. I fall, I fell down the stairs like that. But but she broke her leg. Like her leg was like this. She fell down the stairs and said, "It's that listen, boom and just broke like that." How does that even happen, bro? I fell down the stairs so many times and my leg never did that. But you know how it is, bro. So um, Michael's about to kill her, and then Karen came, her mom, and then stabbed her. Not Lori. Lori was nowhere in this movie. Like the main person that can kill Michael is nowhere in the movie. Like it was just it was just basically old characters and the new characters that were dumb, but no Lori Strode. Like at all. Lori wasn't in the movie at all, but in a hospital in the bed talking about how she killed Michael when she really did it. But basically they she ended up stabbing Michael in the back, not stabbing him again. Like she stabbed him and then just went like that. Boom, that's it. Stabbed him. He, he was like this, ah, fell. And then she just stopped stabbing him. Like, like you know how it's so stupid. I gotta make a video about that. How dumb things they do in scary movies. Like, keep stabbing him. What are you doing? But I'm glad she didn't because I love Michael. So, she stabbed him, took off his mask and said, come get your mask. I know you want your mask or whatever. 
she ended up leading him into the um, whole gang, the whole neighborhood, the whole the whole town was right there about to kill him. So, but it was, they all beat him down, started stabbing him. No, no, he put the mask down on the ground. Michael picked up the mask, put it on. One dude came, Michael slashed him, but he got caught in the back. They all beat him down to the ground, like beat him bad. But you know Michael can't die. So, he was dead right there on the ground. Everybody thought they killed him. Everybody was going back home, whatever. And Michael, Lori was talking about how he can't die. Every time he kills, he morphs into something. The only, you can't kill him by man energy or something like that. So he got right back up and started stabbing everybody, killing everybody. It was like Jason, bro. Dude was stabbing everybody, grabbed a dude, stabbed his wrist, I mean his ankle, flipped him over, and doing all type of stuff. And the dude who was talking all smack saying he gonna drop Michael tonight, tonight Michael dies, he stabbed him in one second. The dude was like, I ain't going out without no swings. Well, he went out with no swing at all. He went like this to Michael, and Michael just grabbed it and stabbed the dude right there in his stomach and killed him. Throw him on the ground. It's raps, bruh. And basically, the movie ended right there. Oh, yeah, Karen, the, the mom, Lori's daughter, died. Like, bruh, she ended up dying. She went, Michael ended up surprising her through the window and stabbed her to death. She should have never said that. She took his mask and said something about his mom or something. So, you know, Michael was mad. He went up to her and killed her viciously. Like, he went up there and just stabbed her. But the whole movie is good, bro. I could have went into more detail, but it's really not much to go through. The whole thing was good. I don't see why people were hating on it, saying it was bad. It wasn't all of that. But they're not real Halloween fans. This was, like, really good. But I hope the next one doesn't carry on from that night. I hope it goes, Michael leaves, goes, take cover, heal up a little bit, and it happens a day later. Because I hate how it carries on from the same night. That's pretty cool. Like, in a trailer, it was like, oh, it's going to carry on from the same night. But it wasn't really that, all of that. Like, I feel like, like, it was just, it was just, it, I feel like they were lazy. Like, I feel like they finished that movie and just said, you know, we'll just carry on because we don't feel like caring about this genre no more. But that was really good. And, yeah, I don't see why everybody was hating on it. It was, it was, it was good. Like, as a Halloween fan, that was, like, the best. Like, especially with the killing and the gore and all of that. And I like how we actually see him. Like, we don't see him in pop up in the dark, kill, and then leave. No, we saw him walking around. But catch you guys in the next video. Tell me what you guys think. Did you guys see it? And next is Scream. We got to see Scream. That's about to be really good. And, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.